Virgo, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for the week of February 12th through the 18th. Let's jump right in, okay? We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming in, and get some important advice from Spirit today. But first, let's go into what is happening for you, the energetic frequencies that you're going to be dealing with. We're going to look at one, maybe two pop out, primarily been one lately um, with these readings. So let's see. Thank you for tuning in today and sharing this space with me. It is an honor to be able to read for you. And thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Virgos tuning in. All right. Woo! Detach! That one to fly right out. All right, you could be letting go of something this week or needing to let go of the attachment to something. You're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to, Virgo. When we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it, okay? So definitely work on letting go. Detachment is the key word for the week. Okay, let's see what's happening in your life, Virgo. Chariot, you might be uh, finally feeling some movement here. Hangman in the chariot, major arcana, really moving forward, okay? Hangman, really moving forward, picking up speed. Energy is moving now. You're not in a place of stagnancy. This could be in your personal life or your professional life or both. Movement though, nonetheless. Wow. Okay. Maybe because you are detaching from something. No longer feeling stuck, are we? All right. Ooh, seven of pentacles, the knight of wands, and the eight of pentacles. You could have been really reassessing... Um, what kind of energy you want to put into your work life, how you want it to work, how you want it to go. Could it be uh, switching up your routine, your schedule, um, even in what you want to create? There were some changes that were needed and you are now moving forward. I think the period of pause and reassessment of how to move forward with your goals and your ambition, you're now, you've tweaked something in your recent past and now you're ready to go after it, okay? I think you're at a time in your life where you're putting a lot of hard work into your career and it's starting to pay off. You could have just been on a pause, on a vacation, or just I need to take a moment and just reflect here so I can create some new um, avenues, right? Opening up to new opportunities in your career. Immediate future, page of wands, strength, and the page of cups. Ooh, nice. You could be learning a lot right now um, about how to conserve. This is about energy conservation too. When we pull our energy back down into page level. You could also be opening up into new a new opportunity and the courage required to open up again, whether it's to love or to some new creative endeavor. You are definitely trying to take a nice little timid, innocent approach towards something new, okay, in your life. Ace of Pentacles, overall general energy for the week, new opportunities, okay? You could have new financial opportunities here this week, and it's, it's feeling really good. There's new growth here. Ooh, the world. We've got a cycle coming to an end. Your opportunity is to let that cycle end. Learn what needed to be learned. Wrap that up. Okay? Or, you know, this will also be a reflection of what you're opening up to. That's new. The challenge is dropping your burden. Something has gotten kind of heavy that you're carrying recently. It's time, time to drop it now. So you can come back into balance. What you don't see coming is a fair and just resolution is going to occur. But you must first detach Virgo. Okay? Let's get some clarity here on why, I'm sorry, I'm feeling a hair on my arm. All right, why is the Ace of Pentacles here in your overall general energy for the week? I think you're really focusing a lot. They're highlighting the Pentacle even here, as you can see in the world. I'm going to cover her up so you don't see her, but look at same, same figure here, okay? New opportunities being handed to you, okay? And the decisions that we must make around those opportunities all right so i do believe Ooh, and you could be um there could have been some sort of hidden ending but you're now becoming more aware of it virgo that whatever needed to end in your life it needed to end okay you could be opening up into a new opportunity in love or waiting for that right waiting for a new opportunity in love some of you virgos out there ace of pentacles what is this new growth that wants to Ooh, yeah Ten. Ooh, wow. Ooh, ooh, Virgo. What is happening here? I'm like feeling all these groovy new injuries. Now I know why you're pulling, pulling your energy back in the immediate future because, I mean, 
you your overall general energy right new growth new opportunities like you're trying to learn right and what you're learning about is something very difficult here i mean the ten of swords the nine of wands and the tower okay this is not the easiest energy to be moving through spirit is saying um take your time detaching from this tower you had a tower Maybe a, a fatalistic event where it was like, I can't recover from this. And you're really weary and tired. You have the Ten of Wands here. So the Nine to the Ten, that's the challenge. Is this is, you could be facing a tower this week around a situation that you know has to come to a close. All right. And the, 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 just the emotional exhaustion, the physical exhaustion, the exasperation, the frustration is all coming to a head. I think you're being given the energy to get through this. It's almost as though you're trying to close out a cycle that you know needs to close, but it's it's very difficult. Sorry, I'm running low on my power here. It's very difficult to close out things in our lives, okay? I think this week you're looking at an opportunity to close out something that it's almost it's almost like there was some some sort of catastrophe in your life. I mean, this, this is, this is a very hard combo and I'm sorry, cause it looks like you were looking at walking away. You could be reevaluating whether you want to remain in something where there's been a lot of drama and a lot of pain and a lot of hurt and suffering, just full on suffering. You've suffered in this previous cycle and it's, you've been full of anxiety, worry, doubt, confusion with the nine of swords. I think you're trying to determine whether you should pull away from something. Yeah, you're being guided. Oh my God. Wow. Two worlds. Virgo, you are definitely being guided to end a cycle and let it end. You could be walking away from a work partnership, a love partnership, a family member. You're being guided to go deep within this week. Opportunity, the hermit, go deep within into you. Take time out. I think you're going to be moving forward. We have the chariot and two worlds. I mean, my goodness. It's almost like a cycle maybe of repeated and you repeated a cycle that maybe you stayed too long in. And now it's like that you can't, you just can't do it anymore. You could have, you, I think you repeated a cycle with somebody. We have two worlds here. So it's almost as though someone overstayed their welcome in your life, Virgo. And you're at that point now where you're like, I, I have to move on from this. I just have to. I'm hearing that. I just have to move on from this. I have to detach from this, Jenna. I need to just throw, it's like you're trying to throw yourself into your work life because you're trying to detach from an energy that had a strong hold on you. All right. This Ten of Wands, the challenge, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Lovers. I think you've been slowly but surely moving towards your own stability regardless of whether you stay or go in a connection. But it's it's gotten harder and harder as time has gone on. And you're at that point, that critical point where you're like, I'm okay on my own. You know, I need to be on my own now. I need to lean into my own stability. And it's almost as though you already know what you're going to do. I think you're walking away from a love situation this week or finalizing, you know, knowing that you're not going back. All right. You could have been in two minds about it or like there was a consideration over maybe going back to it or continuing to put energy into something. And you're realizing um, I need to move on. And I, I've got um, opportunities in the future that I want to free myself up for okay but you've been slowly but surely moving towards an ending here a painful ending at that and i'm sorry i think your challenge is to work through this and to release it and detach yourself from it knowing it's going to take time okay and being patient while you go within and you spend more time alone and you let this cycle close i think you you experience two cycles with someone and this has been a long time coming i'm hearing it. it's been a long time coming jenna and your your task, right, is to give yourself lots of love. I know you had a lot of love for this person, this individual in your life. If it's not romantic, it's somebody that you are severing ties with this week, for sure. In order for you to come back into balance, you want fairness. Let's see what you don't see coming. This fairness. Yeah. I think that you are going through, you could be even communicating with the universe right now about, I don't even know how the first thing about how to deal with what I'm feeling. Okay. This is when you just need to slow your energy down and really focus on your own health and well being from day to day in your own healing. Okay. This is about rest restoration, right? 
really receiving all the guidance and answers from spirit. It's like you're you're really going to be coming back into balance. You could be trying to communicate still with this person about what needs to heal, okay? Some of you want to repeat a cycle with someone. I'm seeing that too. Some of you are going to stay in this connection and repeat a cycle. Mm. But you need to make sure that this is fair, okay? Is this a fair and balanced connection, okay? Yeah, I think you're trying to get the answers this week about what needs to heal, but your energy is definitely pulled back. Something has happened. Something has happened in this connection, and it's almost as though, can we even go back? Can this be resurrected? Can this be fixed? Spirit is saying, detach. There's so much love here. I think that you're considering starting over with somebody in a new cycle, and you're reassessing. You've been reassessing whether you want to go speeding back to this. But it's almost as though you've been working hard on your own, but it's this is that like some of you, you're a couple months out from this and you're like, should I go back? But you're worried that it's all going to be the same thing that you experienced before. Pain, drama, fatigue, weariness, heaviness. You don't want to repeat it again. I think that's the warning here. Do you want to repeat this again? Okay. If you give this love, if you go back, are you just going to repeat the same thing? I just saw one, one, one. Some of you are considering a new beginning with this person or a new beginning without them. But the way things have gone, you can't continue anymore. You've reached the end of your rope here. And sometimes you need to heal and spend time on your own first before you try and come back together with someone. If they're the right person, you both need to do your own work apart, okay? What's this page of wands? Page of pentacles, yeah. In the immediate future, I think you are um, confused because a lot of this was an illusion, okay? What you thought it was was an illusion, okay? Because with the page energy, we have three pages, so it's like you've really pulled your energy back in every way. You're not giving them a lot of your emotional attention, your physical attention. You're trying to release. You're detaching from someone. And there's a lot of confusion because I do know that you love this person. The Ace of Cups showed up. We have the Page of Wands. We have all page energy here. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Page of Wands. We just don't have the Page of Swords. So it's almost as though you could be missing, right, trying to learn from this. It's like, oh, you could be dealing with someone who just isn't really showing up in the way you need them to. I mean, when you have page energy, it's someone who's younger or appears to be younger, who's a little bit, shows up a little bit more emotionally immature, who, you know, kind of makes light of things when it should be a more serious conversation. I think you're grieving and you're, this feels more like you're extracting your energy and you're pulling away from someone in that slow process of letting go and detaching and really looking at things for what the way they are. You know what I mean? Trying to be honest with yourself that some of this was an illusion. This is page of cups. Yeah. I think you're still stressed about whether you want to continue to perpetuate the cycle. We have the nine of swords, the ace. Yeah. This is a past life soulmate. Some of you are considering whether you want to um, have another chance or another go with somebody, but you're just like, I'm just so scared that if I stay open to this person, we're going to repeat the same issue, problem, um, pain, drama, cycle, okay? So you got to be strong enough to know what's best for you right now. Spirit is guiding you to actually do some healing work around your own space, around your own sense of self, going within. You are definitely closing out a cycle that needs to close. The question is, are you going to stay? with this person or not. Mm -mm. Mm. You're giving to a situation that at the end of the day, it leaves you feeling trapped, Virgo. The problem is, is as much as you want to invest in something and give to it, this person makes you feel stuck. Okay. I think you're dealing with an energy where it's almost as like you've got two incompatibilities here. There's something going on in this connection where there's something that's incompatible. And when you put two people that are incompatible together, you have to be strong enough wise enough, self-loving enough to look at that and go, wow, I deeply love this person, but we are not compatible. And I don't know if we ever will be. You aren't right now. So that's your, your task is to pull away enough to look at the truth of a situation and really determine whether you want to continue to perpetuate a cycle where you're constantly trying to get on the same page. <coughs> but if you're dealing with an energy that isn't there where you are, you are holding yourself back. And I'm seeing this a lot in the collective lately. A hell of a lot. 
So this is about letting go, Virgo. You want stability. You really want stability, but it's almost like you're holding on to a future ideal. And we do this all the time. Virgo, I've been seeing this for you. You're putting so much work into a connection. If you haven't left it yet, some of you have, okay? And you're putting work into healing and being on your own. Recognizing this got way too heavy. We were not right for each other. Your goal when it comes to anyone you open up to and love, and love is to know that if they're right for you or not, time will reveal that, okay? And how you feel from day to day having them in your energy. This person makes you feel trapped. Why do you want to give to a situation that makes you feel trapped and held back? Why would you do that? Some of you, this is feeling trapped and, and pulled away and really doing a lot of work in your career and not feeling like where you want to be yet. Okay, Doing what you love, but it's hard. Some of you are really, really trying to reach a goal in your career. And it's very difficult. Okay, And this is about really digging deep and doing the work to build something prosperous and the stress that goes along with that. Okay, This could be what you're dealing with two times. You're dealing with a difficult love situation and you're really trying to build something in your career and all you want is stability and it goes hand in hand if, if your love life is on the rocks and you're having a difficult time it will influence your ability to manifest more abundance let's get some advice from spirit here the devil the world and the seven of wands virgo Whoever you've been dealing with, especially in your heart space, in your love life, it is time to let it go. I'm telling you right now, you have three worlds. Do you want to continue to perpetuate a cycle dealing with someone who you know it's a toxic attachment? Detach, Virgo. Detach. Do you really want to continue this? Spirit is saying you can keep going. You can keep going, but it's going to continue to be hard as hell. Or do you want to lean into you? And really let your light shine and work on yourself now. And come back into balance. Your justice is to come back into balance with self. With tempering the energies. Communicating from the divine. Letting your spiritual guidance lead the way. I'm telling you, you know you are strong enough to walk away from this person. Someone has a hold on you. Someone has a deep hold on you, Virgo. And I think it's up to you. Three worlds how many times have you gone round and round with this person? How long have you been going through this? You're being asked to detach from something you're holding too tightly to. You could also be really trying to make something something that it isn't. Okay? And all the work you put into it and pulling back and going, this isn't where I want it to be. And you're doing all the work. Are they? Are they? Doesn't look like it. We had nothing but page energy that you're dealing with in the immediate future. They aren't doing the work. You are carrying the load. You are overgiving. Pull back. See what happens. If they can't pick up the slack and you're constantly dealing with someone who isn't bringing it to the table, the maturity, the openness, the vulnerability, the, the truth, right? You got the devil here, hon. Can you see it? You get the devil here in this connection. It's off. Something's off here. Majorly off. Okay? And I think you've had about all you can take. So you can decide whether you want to repeat a cycle or not. It's up to you. You have free will. It's up to you. It just seems like you're going through a lot of drama. For what? Only to be drained and have it impact your job? Impact your, your well-being? Impact your peace of mind? All right. What is the self-healing oracle? Better boundaries, communication. You could just have an energy that you're trying to detach from, and it's very hard. It's hard to let go of people that have a hold on us. It's very hard, especially when you tried like hell to make the love work. But you, these are two incompatible energies, and that's when it gets toxic, when we cling to it and we don't let it go. Creating boundaries requires self-love and discipline. It's not about you shutting people out or being unkind. It's about you telling them you care enough about yourself to create boundaries that are for your highest good. Clear communication is needed to keep your boundaries intact. Some of you, this has nothing to do with love. You're trying to have better boundaries with people at work and you're trying to detach from the drama. You could have a new, had a new opportunity in a work environment that has gone to shit and you're just like, wow, okay, I need to regroup here. This isn't healthy for me. I need to look at my options and look at other opportunities, but you need to create better boundaries. 
I do believe a lot of you are dealing with a difficult love situation. You've been going round and round and round and round for how long? For how long? Years? Years. Three worlds, okay? Spirit is saying enough is enough, Virgo. You love somebody, but they may not be healthy for you, all right? And it's up to you to create better boundaries and to communicate and detach with love, okay? I'm sending you love.